J.P. Morgan's chief executive, Jamie Dimon, best known banker in America, he believes our country, quote, probably will not default on its debts. David Barnson with us for the hour. All right, David, we'll get a debt ceiling deal. Do you care about it? Well, I think there will be volatility along the way. I think a deal falls apart before it comes together, but it comes together. There's going to be up and down. That's the way these things go. I'm with Brian 100%. We're not talking about default. It's a technical term. It means not yep. making an interest or principal payment. That would be a decision. It would not be something they had to do. Alexander Hamilton was right. Our country pays its bills. But I'm worried about debt, and I'm worried about spending and taxes when they've got a deal. Because they're not going to eradicate all this spending. That's not going to happen. They're going to spend. It's hard to find a political party these days that cares about debt, cares about entitlement spending, cares about runaway uh, spending. Uh, we've had two Republican presidents in a row and two Democrat presidents in a row that have added more debt in 20 years by about $20 trillion than we had for our first 200 we, we, years. We the keep hearing there's going to be a debt bomb exploding at some time in the future. I've been hearing this for 20 years. Yeah. It never happens. Well, you don't hear it from me because for that very reason, we can't time it. We don't know. We had less than $1 trillion of debt when I graduated high school. We have $32 trillion trillion of debt now, and I'm not that old. That was, that's a, you got me. Yeah. <laughs> you got me. I'm speechless. Uh, David, you're with me for the hour. Stay there, please. A Republican lawmaker introducing a resolution to remove Adam Schiff from Congress. David Barnson's with us. David is a Californian, and we were talking in the break, and I was saying there's no way Adam Schiff will lose a Senate race. I think You're not very, with me. I think you very well could lose it. Katie Porter is a formidable opponent in the sense that she's well-funded. I think both of them are terrible candidates. But I also think that's the way Adam Schiff should be removed, not by this legislation, but by voters. Yeah, okay. Uh, you, you don't think he's going to be the candidate? You think Katie um, Porter's going to be? I think that there's going to be two Democrats that run against each other in the general election because of a jungle primary in California, and that then he will end up losing a tight race to Katie Porter, and my friend Scott Baugh will win the congressional race in Orange County that Katie Porter is leaving. Okay, that's a good wrap of California yes. politics. I just wanted to get my plug in. <laughs> Nicely done, yes, son. Sir. Nicely done. All right. David Barton is still with us. Glutton for punishment, this guy. He is a dividend guy, and he's starting with Cisco. What do they pay? And 3.3% uh... yield. They've yes. grown the dividend about 8% per year. That's so, not great. Well, it's double the S&P, and the dividend on what you purchased it at 10 years ago is 8% per year. So it's about the growth of the dividend for people who want more income year over year. We talk about this a lot. We do. Cisco's product sales, Susan just said, were down 23% last year. Their subscription business is up 18%. Their software sales were up, excuse me, software up 18, subscription up 13. That's how they pay their dividend, by recurring revenue business. Truist, yeah. T-R-U-I-S-T, Truist Financial, what do they pay? Uh, 7%. That's is that, better. That's higher, yes. You know, Stuart, you're still working. You don't need these high dividends yet. <laughs> how do you know how much longer I'm going to work for? Well, we'll you see. Don't know. <laughs> um, Truist is, is right now in this regional bank stuff. There's a lot of hair on it. People are really worried about the banks. We think people are getting it wrong. Truist is more like a big bank than a small bank, and we really think that dividend is sustainable at 7%. 7%, I'll take.